New York Yankees fans, how's it going? It is Felix from NYNews.com. Like always, all the Gumbo Stars. Hey, Yankees fans, Brian Cashman has confirmed what I have been thinking, that he's waiting for other teams to become sellers. And yesterday, he was quoted in saying just that, that he's waiting for other teams to fall off and see if they become sellers. Who knows what team he's talking about? He might be talking about the Cardinals. He might be talking about the Giants. He might be talking about the Nationals. Who knows? But I know one team in particular who has an ace and is supposedly clinging on to life is the Washington Nationals. Other people might be saying, oh, that's the San Francisco Giants with Mad Bum. But in my opinion, Bumgarner is a franchise player just like Kershaw is with the Dodgers. The Giants are not going to trade Bumgarner. Or if they do trade him and re-sign him, I don't see it. He's just a franchise player. That's like uh, trading away uh, Luis Severino in his prime after he helped your team win three World Series championships. I mean, obviously, Madison Bumgarner is a franchise player. I don't see the Giants ever trading him away. They might eventually lose him to free agency, but I don't see the Giants giving up Madison Bumgarner. And I do see him as a career-long Giant. So the Yankees are also scouting race pitchers, Chris Archer, Nathan Navaldi. Hey, if you ask me, I'll skip on Chris Archer just because he's 29 years of age and his body type, I mean, he's skinny. As he ages, I can see his velocity dropping. He's not, let's say, a Pedro Martinez where Pedro had awesome off-speed pitches and taught himself how to get batters out. With declining miles on his fastball, I don't see Chris Archer just being the same kind of pitcher as Pedro Martinez. Pedro Martinez is obviously a Hall of Famer, so I'll skip out on Chris Archer. If you can get Nathan Navaldi and save some of your prospects, I'll set up for a Nathan Navaldi. Obviously, he's going to be a rental, but um, he's a second-tier pitcher, and the Yankees, as of now, are aiming to add two starting pitchers to their rotation. And I say this because if you missed the news yesterday, it came out that the Yankees are shopping Sonny Gray. Sonny Gray, sure, his last two starts have been solid, but the Yankees are looking at Gray and saying, hey, this guy's inconsistent. We are a playoff team. Come playoff push. If Sonny Gray takes the mound, we don't know what's going to happen. So you can't gamble with Sonny Gray. I mean, the Sonny Gray experiment has been over a long time ago. If you can ship him out to a National League team, where, in my opinion, he'll do better, you ship him to a National League team. Let's see. Even the Athletics are interested in Sonny Gray. I mean, if you can make a trade with the A's, I can see it happening, too. I would try to get James Caprillion back. Even though he's injured, even though he's coming off of the DL, I would ask for James Caprillion in a deal. That sends Sonny Gray back to Oakland. And we all know with their trade for Familia, the Oakland Athletics are making a push for maybe one of those two wild court spots. So you never know. I could see Sonny Gray being shipped off to the Oakland Athletics just for this reason. Just because if you're considering trading Sonny Gray, that means Brian Cashman has other plans. He has plans in adding two other pitchers. People are forgetting that Luis Sessa's spot, Domingo Hormon's spot, is not a guarantee. Obviously, the Yankees are going to replace them because it is a them position with a pitcher the Yankees make a trade for. Like I said, Cashman is going to add two pitchers to this starting rotation. So obviously, the Yankees are going to ship off Sonny Gray. They're thinking two things. They're not going to get a legit return, and they're just shipping him off to ship him off. They want to replace Sonny Gray with one of these other pitchers Brian Cashman obtains before the deadline or maybe even after the deadline. Who knows? But I know for a fact Brian Cashman is going to trade for a starting pitcher. And he's holding it out for an ace. He's waiting for these other teams to become sellers. And like I said, if the Yankees create any dialogue with the Athletics, ask for James Caprolian back. Make a wrong right. That guy was heartbroken when he was traded away and if you know his story you know that he lost his mother to cancer etc so like i said make a wrong right and i'm not saying it was a bad thing cashman did but like i said if you have any dialogue with the a's for sonny gray i would say hey we're practically giving away sonny gray for nothing give us james caprillion give us some of these prospects here
James Caprillion is obviously on the DL, so it looks like if you're the A's, you win two trades back-to-back, -back, trading Sonny Gray to the Yankees, and then the Yankees trading Sonny Gray back to the A's, where the A's really don't give up anything, any players that can make an impact on their roster this year. So Yankees fans, you could cross out uh, Carlos Martinez. He went on the DL. You could cross out Fulmer. You could cross out all these pitchers that the Yankees were talking about because they're all hitting the DL. So, like I said, Cashman, and he confirmed that himself, is waiting for teams to become sellers. So, Yankees fans, this is all I have for you at the moment. I am going to leave this page at the wrong time. I am going on vacation, but I'll possibly, maybe every day while I'm on vacation, hold a live chat via the YouTube app, and yeah, we'll ha just have live chats instead of these videos that I make. But disclaimer, it's going to have to be in the morning time because, you know, when you drink a whole bunch of presidentes out there in the Dominican Republic, I don't want to make videos drunk. You know, this is Felix from uh, NYYNews.com. I'm drunk right now, but um, leave your questions and uh, I'll just answer them. So, yeah, uh, I'm just trying to avoid that. So, uh, Yankees fans, leave your opinions in the comment section below. And like always, this has been Felix from NYNews.com. Share, like, and subscribe, and I will check you all next time. Falling down.